Hello all signs, welcome to Cosmic Readings and Messages for June 2019. This is a little uh, prelude to your sign. Apologies for the delay in getting June's uh, readings out because I've been kind of busy, but we'll do it for the whole month. Just as a quick reminder, I do not do astrology type stuff, uh, so if you're looking for astrological readings, there's a number of other YouTube channels that you can check for that. I use the astrological signs for categorization simply because everybody knows they their uh, astrological sign, so it just makes things easier that way. I do use the tarot cards and the messages from your angels, and I'm a little bit unconventional. Um, I just do what I think works best for me and get those messages through from the universe and the angels and the spirits to see what they have for your particular sign. So I will be shuffling and setting everything up for your sign in just a moment. So just keep all those things in mind. Remember, the messages may not resonate with you perfectly. It may actually be for someone that you're associated with or someone uh, you know. Um, maybe you're helping them out and the message is referring to them. Uh, also, sometimes the messages are just not for you. Uh, check out other associated signs that maybe you associate yourself with uh, for more information. But I like to think that uh, the messages are for those who actually come to the YouTube channel here and watch. Uh, so maybe during the course of the month it will make more sense. In any case, feel free to like, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. And um, thank you for watching. And now we'll switch over to your sign for June 2019. Hello, my Sagittarius friends. Sagittarius for June 2019. And I've already shuffled the cards and let them pop out and fly all over the place. And I put those cards down. And uh, we've got the one major card that I like to use for your main message for the month. Something to keep in mind. And also then um, three minor cards for the rest of the story. And one angel card for another part of the message or the puzzle sometimes to clarify something that's sometimes how it works out so you guys Sagittarius you have the chariot for your main message you have the three of swords the king of pentacles four of swords and you've got Celeste for your angelic message so let's hop in and see what is going on because you've got the chariot which is um, a message about action and change so you're moving forward, it's movement, um, action, and change. And a journey may be in, uh, in the cards, as they say. Um, maybe a new vehicle uh, to travel in. Maybe you're looking at a new car. Your, your new chariot, you know, <laughs> so to speak. Um, also, it's a card that's talking about controlling um, your scene and, again, movement. So um, a lot of ways to look at, at the chariot. It's, it's also a, a fun card. So you're moving forward. Now, you've got the three of swords there. And, yeah, you got it's the heart with the three swords going through it. The three of swords is um, talking about heartbreak. So this could have something to do with the relationship. It could represent divorce in process or coming, uh, loss, depression. It could also represent surgery by uh, some people. Um, the Three of Swords, because threes are typically creative, but in this case, the Three of Swords um, is, is kind of sad. And it, it, it does require healing. So I'm getting heartache. You know, I'm getting depression. I am getting divorce, uh, breakup. Uh, so some of you Sagittarius people, maybe the, the chariot there is you're moving out. You're going to go do your own thing. Uh, it's This is a breakup. So we're starting off on a foot here that says um, this is leading toward romance. But you've got two more cards there. And the next one is the King of Pentacles. Now, Pentacles, I you know, are the coins. And that usually points toward money. And the King of, uh, uh, King of Pentacles uh, is talking about um, someone who's a solid leader. He's very practical. Um, a wise investor. So if this is you, 
Um, this could just mean you're a very wise person and this breakup that you're involved with, and if it's not romance, it could be a breakup with a, a job, like a, um, a good job that you enjoyed, something happened and you're, you're divorcing that job. And it may have paid well, um, maybe you were the king there. Like, I'm not saying the CEO, but you had a high position. Um, so maybe it has something to do with that. Um, again, king of pentacles. <sighs> the king is the master. He's the ruler. The, and, the, and the healer. So um, maybe that has something to do with this. Let's, let's see. You've also got the four of swords here. Um, so you've got your three of swords and you have a four of swords and the four of swords is uh, retreat, resting, uh, renewal, sacrifice, recovery. So, you know, and you've got this heartache. If this has to do with work, you know, it's all tied together. There, there's something going on. If this is romance, it's, it's a romance on the rocks it's it's ending um but you're a strong person if you're the weaker person and the stronger person is the one maybe you don't even realize that you think you're the strong person uh if this has to do with romance because everybody has their own side of the story but at the same time look at your angel card you've got celeste and celeste here is usually a nice card and maybe this is a nice card for the situation that you're in because this is, it's not doom and gloom, but it is about a change. You're, you're leaving something uh, and you're, you're the stronger person. Um, so you're going to be fine. Celeste is saying a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. So usually that card just is at face value saying you're going to move. It's a new job. Everything's happy. In this case, it means that, but that's what follows this heartache, this sadness. You've got that chariot. You're going to move. It's about movement. You're going to move on to something better. And Celeste is saying it will be better. It may be a new home, which, you know, if it's a broken relationship, split up, whatever, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's going to lead to you being more happy. Yes, now is a sad time, but you're going to get through it. You're going to move. If this has to do with work, you're going to have a new job. And it could also be a move to a new home for the new in place of employment. Your heartache will end. You're moving along. That's what this is saying. What I'm going to say is don't dwell in the negativity everything is going to turn out all right. So Sagittarius, whether it's a problem with work, maybe you lost a job that you thought you were okay in, like you thought everything was fine, but you know, it just, it just fell apart. And either you walked away or they showed you the door. You have this heartache. You're not, you're, you're not all there. You have to move on. Or if it's a relationship, you know, breakups are always sad. Um, you know, well, not always sad, um, but they, they, they hurt you. Sometimes you feel ecstatic after a breakup. <laughs> you know, sometimes that just is the way it is it's with circumstances. But um, no, this is sort of sad. And um, you've got that heartache. And you got those four swords there. You know, it's you got the three swords and the four swords. You know, it's just, you're a strong person. You will get through it. You are the leader. You will move on. Happy, happiness is on your horizon. Don't stay in the negativity. And this may go on for the whole summer. This is, I'm getting a feeling of, this is going to be bothering you for, Ju for June and July, maybe even into August. But you're going to move on and things are going to turn around. Relationship-wise, you're going to feel better. You're going to realize that what you did was for the best. Same thing with job, career. Something better is going to come along. You're moving forward. You're moving to a new place in your mind and physically. 
And the new home may actually just be around the corner, maybe down the street, maybe to a new state. But it's going to be better. So there you go, my Sagittarius friends. Positive movement after some negativity. So I hope this resonated with you. I hope things do get better. If this was not for you, you're going to help somebody else in this situation because you're the leader. And you're going to help them feel better. So that's the other way that this could be read. You're the strong person. You're going to help somebody else move along. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you can join me next month.